Jim Carrey doing a stunning about face, condemning his new movie just weeks before it hits theaters. The superstar speaking out now against the violence portrayed in the film, saying there's just too much of it. Take a look. In the new film with the inappropriate title, Jim Carrey plays a camo-clad crime-fighting vigilante. Reporting for duty. But later this summer, the comedian says he won't be reporting for duty to promote what some are calling a violent, even gruesome sequel to a comic book cult classic, which follows a group of superhero teens. On Twitter Sunday, Carey wrote that he shot the film, quote, a month before Sandy Hook, and now in all good conscience, I cannot support that level of violence. Adding, my apologies to others involved with the film. I spoke to Jim Carey back in March. He didn't mention anything about the violence at that time. He just seemed really excited to be playing this role in this crazy film. Mark Miller, the writer of the series and an executive producer on the sequel, firing back at Carey on his website, writing, Nothing seen in this picture wasn't in the screenplay 18 months ago. It's not the first time Carrie has spoken out against gun violence. In March, he wrote and starred in this online music video for the website Funny or Die called Cold Dead Hand. It takes a cold dead hand to decide to pull the trigger. Takes a cold Taking aim at actor and former NRA president Charlton Heston. Charlton Heston movies are no longer in demand. Carey talked about the message behind the song here on GMA. The tragic circumstances, as far as I'm concerned, are, are, are an invitation from the universe to let go of our addiction to violence. Now some in Hollywood wonder what Carey will do with the paycheck he's making off the violent film. He's been paid already for his work on the film, and I've heard a lot of people saying that now he should donate some of that money to the victims of Sandy Hook if he feels so strongly about it. Well, Jim Carrey and Universal say they have no further comment about the controversy. The movie comes out in August.